It's important for students to have a balanced diet because having a balanced diet helps you maintain energy throughout the day. It keeps your mood level. Uh, it improves your focus. And when you have a poor diet, the exact opposite happens. You have poor focus, poor mood, and low energy. And that affects your um, academic performance, it affects your athletic performance, and it just affects the quality of your day. Most of a healthy diet should be made up with vegetables. Plenty of vegetables, especially dark leafy greens, but add in colors. It's important to have different kinds of colors because different colors means that there are different nutrients or other chemicals that give us different benefits. So we try to get as much as we can. It's important to have healthy, lean, natural sources of protein that give you stable energy throughout the day and help you grow. And it's important to have healthy fats, things like avocado and olive oil. That doesn't mean you can't ever have ice cream. I like ice cream and every now and then I enjoy it. But it's important, the more you eat healthy, natural, unprocessed foods, the more you'll appreciate them. Your palate will wake up and things that were once boring will be complex and delicious. Healthy food doesn't have to be expensive. Fruit and vegetables are seasonal, so if you buy them during their peak season, they're much less expensive. For example, strawberries are much less expensive during the summer than they would be in the winter. Also, another way to save money while buying fruits and vegetables is to buy them frozen. It's not true that they're any less nutritious. They're frozen immediately after picking, so they may actually be more nutritious than the vegetables that are sitting in your produce section. Breakfast is especially important because first of all, it's the meal that you have the most control over in the day. Whether or not you're in a rush in the morning, you can always make breakfast beforehand. Also, breakfast is easy in the sense that most people are very comfortable eating a similar meal day in and day out when it comes to breakfast. So if you wanna learn one healthy meal for breakfast, you've learned how to eat a healthy meal every day. You may also want to talk to your school administrator to see if you are eligible for free or reduced price lunches. So today we'll be making some egg muffin tin frittatas and you can put whatever veggies you like or any cooked meat or leftovers that you may have, you can incorporate it into your uh, muffin frittata and it will make 12 so you can either refrigerate it or freeze them and reheat them as you need them and they're good breakfast on the go. Now the first thing you want to do when making your baked egg frittata is to coat your pan with an oil. You can coat it with either butter, olive oil, or a spray pan. When using this little oil to cook, you don't need to worry about what kind of fat you're using. The next step you wanna do is break one dozen eggs into a mixing bowl. Break the yolks. and whisk them together. You can use a whisk, I'm just using a fork. After the eggs are whisked well, you can pour them into your muffin tin. Careful not to overfill them. Now you can add whatever vegetables you would like. I have three Fun combinations that you can do. I have spinach and mushroom. I have cherry tomatoes with basil. And I have a fajita mix of peppers and onions. So you would simply add your vegetables to the frittata. If you wanted to use any meat, it would have to be cooked beforehand. especially when it comes to spinach, you wanna bunch it up. It will wilt when you cook it, but you want it to be inside the egg. If you would like, you could season it with salt and pepper, but you don't need to, and if you do, a little goes a long way. Now, you put this in your oven at 350 for 20 to 25 minutes until there's a slight browning at the top. Well, I hope you enjoy making and eating these delicious egg bakes, and I hope these help you get out the door every day with a healthy breakfast.